All right, today I'm going to uh, be working on some feathers for his hair headdress. And uh, I've got the feathers scaled for the size of the, the head measurement. And uh, that's what this little box is. That's a head measurement. And I can scale it to his head and that automatically scales the uh, feathers. All right, be right back. Time to play with some play. All right, I got my uh, scaled feathers here. I got the armatures for four feathers. I'm going to be doing the uh, center or the uh, feather here. It's a it's not a primary feather. It's a, a, I guess, a secondary. I don't know exactly what their term would be. But uh, I want to keep the uh, feathers the same thickness. So I'm using fondue sticks to uh, keep it uh, the same thickness. The uh, roller I'm using is an ink roller. You can get it at any... Uh, university bookstore or order one online. I mean, it's a rubber thing, a uh, roller, and it doesn't stick to uh, the clay, which is a big plus. And then you must have a something that you can get it up off the board with. And I use a uh, drywall tool that you can get at a hardware store. It's also good for cleaning your cutting board. All right. And now it's a matter of making the feather. All right, I got my four uh, feathers ready to go for detailing. I show in my instructional video, a couple of my instructional videos, how to do this, how to make feathers and make them look real. And uh, so I won't be showing you everything. I'll just uh, show you the process between the start and the, the blanks. And now I'm going to go ahead and work on the uh, detailing. I'm just rolling out the quill for the feather. You have to learn how to control your clay so it doesn't go flopping around when you're doing this. Yeah, you got to get it as... Now, the front of the feather, the quill is thin. The back part of the feather, the quill is thicker. Now you gotta make sure your quill is straight on here. Now a bit of the uh, armature is showing, so I'm gonna put down just a little bit of clay. This whole process just takes a lot of time. One way I keep myself in the studio and I can buy clay to work with and pay for the internet to put the uh, videos that I shoot on to the web is through my sales of my uh, instructional videos. Um, if you're so inclined, uh, check the link below this video uh, where I have a review of all nine of my current instructional videos and uh, see if you possibly find anything interesting there. Um, I pretty much give you my over 50 years of experience 
in sculpting and uh, I'd really appreciate it if you'd uh, consider purchasing one or two or even all my videos um, they're streaming online on Vimo and uh, you need a passcode to see them but that works forever as long as you have that passcode and the link so please uh, consider that and let's get busy on sculpting now end of promotion so you can see I've got the uh, quill on both sides now I got another two more to go all right I got the four feathers done as far as the quill goes now I got to put detail in all the all four feathers it's taken me almost 45 minutes to do this so this is going to be a real short video I think today probably and it might not be I don't know but if it is a short one I'm sorry all right I'm going to get busy on this all right I've got one feather detailed and uh I'll start on the other three, and uh, I'll come back when I get done with those. All right, you see, I just put the first two feathers on just to see what it looked like. Looks pretty good. And uh, I got two more to go, and we'll see how this works out. Okay, I'm going to cut a square out where I'm going to put the feathers. And uh, the reason I'm going to do that is so that they can take that out and uh, cast the, the feathers separate because if they try to do it on top of the uh, warrior's head it may not work of course i don't know if i can do that hmm because i got the armature for the head under there let's see if i can cut out a, a circle They can blend it all in after they cast it in bronze. Okay, let's see if I can pull that out. Yeah. All right, I got the feathers done. I've got them mounted. Now I just got to see if I can lift this up. Yeah, I can. Now you see that can be all cast separate. That's going to make it a lot cheaper to uh, produce, reproduce. I'm going to put that back on. And I'll blend that in a little bit. I'll show them where to uh, dig it out with <laughs> the, the uh, knife to get it out of there. But uh, this will be very easy to uh, blend in with the welding. I think that works. All right, I just got to push that down. Like that. All right. That works out really well. That'll be easy enough to pull out of the uh, off the headdress. And uh, I think it looks good. It makes the uh, back a little more interesting to look at. Uh, it works good on the side view. And uh, you're always trying to make uh, your piece look good from any angle and uh i think i've achieved that i think the next thing i'm going to do is put some texture into the uh ermine tail or ermine skins but uh i'm happy the way this turned out all right everybody i'll uh see you next time and uh i bent one of the horns in accidentally today all right, well, I'll finish off the uh, the bottom of the feathers uh, the, the, uh, where it's attached to the uh, 
headdress tomorrow. And uh, this piece will be pretty much done. All right, I just came up with a title. A Life Lived Honorably. That's what I'm going to title this clay. Just came up with that. All right, everybody, have a great night. One way I keep myself in the studio and I can buy clay to work with and pay for the internet to put the uh, videos that I shoot on to the web is through my sales of my uh, instructional videos. Um, if you're so inclined, uh, check the link below this video uh, where I have a review of all nine of my current instructional videos and uh, see if you possibly find anything interesting there. Um, I pretty much give you my over 50 years of experience in sculpting and uh, I'd really appreciate it if you'd uh, consider purchasing one or two or even all my videos. Um, they're streaming online on Vimo and uh, you need a passcode to see them but that works forever as long as you have that passcode and the link so please uh, consider that and let's get busy on sculpting now end of promotion